The Poisson summation formula states that the sum from n equal minus infinity to infinity of some function f of n is equal to, assuming things converge, a sum, similar sum, n equals minus infinity to infinity of the Fourier transform of that function f of n. Okay, this this is this is kind of uh, I mean, this is pretty this is pretty shocking, right? If you define some grid on some function f of n and you add up all the points on that grid, it's the same thing in Fourier space. Uh, that's pretty surprising. But how do we actually show that this is true? Uh, well, the first thing, the first fact to note is that uh, what exactly this means, and, and this being true, is going to depend on which convention we pick for the Fourier transform. And so the convention that we use here is that uh, the Fourier transform of some function f of x equaling f hat of k is equal to our normal our normal integral f of x e to the minus i 2 pi x k dx so th this is this is similar to uh, the Fourier transform that I mostly use, except that um, we have this two pi in the exponential. But this this is this is the transform that we need in order for this property to come out. So let, let's actually uh, let's actually let's get into the math. Let's actually prove this is right. And I'm going to start by working on this term and showing that you can get this term out of it. Uh, and so how am I going to do that? I'm going to start with. Uh, well, I'm going to start by rewriting our f hat uh, in terms of this uh, as a Fourier transform. So this is going to be integral minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the minus i 2 pi x k dx. Okay, that's good. Um, now, uh, well, and actually, this this shouldn't be a k. This should be an n because we're, we're, we're iterating over n um okay uh this is great but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh interchange the sum and the integral um just so that way we can get this a, a sum of just this exponential function uh so what, what does that mean we have integral f of x and then we have sum n equal minus infinity to infinity e to the minus i 2 pi x n dx and hopefully this looks familiar if, if you've if you've seen my uh, my video on the delta function and the Fourier and Fourier series which uh, link in the description below then you know exactly what this is and I'll, and I'll just remind you um, remind you that uh, in that video what we what we what we were able to show is that this sum n equal minus infinity to infinity e to the i nx is equal to 2 pi sum k equal minus infinity to infinity delta of x minus 2 pi k okay and we can we can just substitute that right in here with with uh, you know letting x go to minus x and then with an extra 2 pi uh, and so let's do that so we can we can substitute that in and what do we get we get that this whole thing right here is equal to uh, same integral minus infinity to infinity f of x, but now, now we have, now we have this sum to contend with. We have k going from minus infinity to infinity delta of, and what happened? We have x going to minus two pi x minus two pi k d x. And let's not forget, we also have this 2 pi out in front. Okay, uh, that's great. But we can simplify this a bit, and we can simplify it by looking at this delta function. So a couple properties we remember from the delta function uh, is that it's even, and so we can treat these as both being positive. And also, this is, this is of the form of some constant times uh, constant times the argument, so constant times x plus k, and so we can pull out a 1 over 2 pi, because we have this 2 pi times everything. And so what's going to happen? We're going to get integral minus infinity to infinity f of x sum 
k equals minus infinity to infinity delta of x plus k delta of x plus k dx. Okay, now we, we've, we've just about got it. The only last thing to note here is that uh, when we do this, what are we doing? We're, we're basically reducing this integral right here over all these delta functions to a sum over all of these points, right? Because what's happening when, when we're integrating over this, we're, we're effectively just picking out a, a countable number of points, a, a countable collection of points um, at integer intervals, right? And so what does that mean? That means that this whole thing can really, really just be expressed as the sum k okay, going from uh, minus infinity to infinity of f of k, right? Now, now you might complain, well, wait a minute, you know, really what's happening here when we're doing this integral, I mean, what, what would we do? We would pull out the sum, we would do the integral, we would say that, wait a minute, uh, we have, you know, f of minus k, sum from k minus infinity to infinity, but, you know, minus k, we can just flip the signs on this thing, uh, and then it's nothing to worry about. Uh, but we've, we've done it, right? We've done it. What we've shown is that starting from this term right here, this, this sum of the Fourier transform, uh, doing a little bit of math and knowing this fact about the delta function in Fourier series, we were able to show that we can rewrite this whole thing uh, as a sum of uh, infinitely many delta functions, which becomes exactly this term on the left-hand side. And so, so we've done it. We've, we've proven the Poisson summation formula.